yeah. Ratings, comrades. This is Evan Given Caleb back with another episode of Shmup Saturdays. And uh, this is a game I've never played before, actually. This is called Earth Atlantis. And uh, I'll admit the art style alone got my attention. <laughs> Has a nice little, uh, like, old sketch art style from, like, uh, <laughs> 1900s or whatever. But I had the uh, Steam page open right here. The Great Climate Shift struck at the end of the 21st century. 96% of the Earth's surface is underwater. Human civilization has fallen. Machines have adopted the shape and form of marine animals. The ocean is full of creature-machine hybrid monsters. You are a hunter, and the new journey begins. Earth of Lance is a side-scrolling shooter with an original monster hunting gameplay. Hmm. Okay. Search and hunt down dreadful sea monsters and explore the post-apocalyptic underwater world. Unlock multiple ships with special weapons and abilities for your journey and become a legendary hunter. The game is presented in a very unique and artistic old sketching visual style, which expresses the essence of the 14th century's ocean exploration when the sea was considered a dangerous place full of monsters. It features original side-scrolling shooter with monster hunting objective, unique old sketching visual style, two game modes, quest mode, hunter mode, okay. four playable ships with unique weapons, 25 large monsters and four enemy ships to hunt with 12 special events to complete. Okay, sounds interesting enough. And we're only one and a half minutes and the clip's already six points, already almost seven gigs. This is interesting. So how to play. Okay, shows you the... I like how to use the Xbox 360 D-pad here. And again, this might be an older game, but this came out in 2019. Okay, so you print your typical shooter fair. I'm also using my hex gaming controller by the way. It feels pretty comfortable in the hands and the back buttons aren't that hard to press. At least how high I you know, at least how high how I will hold the controller. God I can talk today, Jesus. Alright, so you have a radar. Use A or the Is that the bumper or the trigger? I can't tell what it's pointing at. Shift two, okay. I guess we'll do quest mode since that's the only mode available. <coughs> okay. I guess we'll use this since it's the only ship available. I guess you have to unlock the other three ships for certain means. Captain Receiver, there's a stress call from the West Sea. They have lost. Okay, it was. Okay. Okay, so it's the bumper. Okay, so this is a pretty interesting take on the shooters. Usually you're going in a fixed direction shooting anything that comes at you, but... No, here... It's sort of an open world shoot 'em up in a way. Can I just hit a mine? Okay, so that's your health bar. I like how the uh, white part's the empty part. And the black part's your actual health. Can't know if it should be the other way around. You know, I'm using the rear buttons for this. Giant enemy crabs. Oh, we got a power up, looks like it. It feels nice to use the lavalier microphone again, but uh, naturally it's going to capture the uh, my case fans, which, uh, you know, they're a lot quieter than the fans of my old PC, but they're still audible. Okay. 
Because you can't really shoot the mines, you can only run into them. But now the rear gun. I will admit, the art style is pretty cool. In a way, it reminds me of MC Escher. Robotic uh, sunfish there. The piranhas look like little mackerels flying at me. <clears throat> so apparently it's like a if Monster Hunter were a shoot 'em up. Because that's what it said in the description. You're basically hunting down giant monsters. Which I haven't found one yet. So I'm shooting mollusks and piranhas. This has got an octopus that only has four tentacles. Also power up my ship. Can't really hear the music. Oh. Gomeron. So since we're fighting a uh, Robotic uh, sea life. I guess in a way this is like open world Darius. Man takes a while. He is a boss. Okay, I'm doing a shitty job dodging those boulders whatever he's shooting at me can he shoot those things maybe they'll drop some power ups or at least some health <coughs> okay I'm about to die Less talking, more shooting. <laughs> we killed each other! <laughs> okay, let's do that again. That was bullshit. Probably got to farm for power ups here. I guess I'll stay here for a bit and farm for power-ups. I will admit, the concept is uh, interesting for a shoot-em-up. It's by no means original, but for a shoot-em-up, you know, it's a nice little change of pace. I'm just going to power up my ship for you. Fight Mr. Turtle again. I'm not quite sure how you go about, uh... Unlocking the other ships. Me. 
Yeah, these, uh... <laughs> enemies definitely look cartoony. Okay, let's fight Mr. Turtle again. A tortoise. Good thing you can't, you don't take damage from colliding with the environment. Oh, he's already dead. Okay, well, I don't have to fight him again. Okay, you have a, it's your secondary weapon. I kind of like these homing missiles. I'm not gonna lie, this definitely looks like something you get from Xbox Live Arcade. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, because there are some gems in the uh, Xbox Live Arcade store back in the day. I'm not sure how it is now. I don't even know if Xbox Live Arcade is still a thing. Because a lot of games are all digital these days. I do like since it's open world, you have the ability to turn your ship and I guess move in that direction, but you you move the same speed regardless, so I guess in case you have more firepower in your front than in your rear. Doesn't seem to be a scoring mechanic though. Yeah, I like the I like fire and forget kind of missiles when it comes to shooters. Hey, I don't know what this space is for. And some swordfish. Oh, it's a uh, electricity. Siren, which is a giant squid. Okay, I feel a lot better now since I've actually have decent firepower. Kind of jumped the gun in the first boss fight. <laughs> Jesus Christ, 67 gigs. And I'm only 13 minutes. How much processing power does this need in order for a recording to take up that much space? Jesus. Alright. Well, due to the, uh... I'm not kidding. We're only... Not even 14 minutes in, the recording is 70 gigs. I don't know what the deal with that is. I, yes, it's higher quality, but... Not for something like this, I'm pretty sure, like... like my Doom 3 recordings don't take up that much memory. And those are even longer. Oh well. But anyway, um, that is Earth Atlantis. Very interesting shoot 'em up I will admit. Sort of open world, hunting down giant monsters while, uh... Powering up a ship and stuff, so interesting concept, I'm not gonna lie. So, definitely check it out. It's only. Oh! You know what? It's a good thing I did this video now because the normal price for this game is $14.99, but as of this uh, film, this video of recording, it's 90% off. It's only $1.49. It's on sale to the 15th, so uh, if this game kind of interests you, definitely check it out. Anyway, I'm going to end this recording before it uh, depletes my entire solid state drive. So, this is Nothing Gonna Caleb signing out. You have a good day. Suck it up, life's tough, we know that Someone's got better stuff and can throw cash Tell them I don't give a fuck, make my own path I don't need no handouts on my own man Gotta get it, I'll get it, get it and fast, yeah Got a girl that she'll get it, get it, she bet, yeah Man, I only get down with the best, uh I'ma leave the complaints with the rest, uh